Hi there, my name is Dr. Mushut Kazi. I'm a consultant in emergency medicine and you're watching my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about just a few similarities and few differences between MRCAM and FRCAM exams. For those candidates who are preparing for these exams, especially the OSCE exams, uh, best of luck because the next exams are coming up very soon. Now let's talk about the similarities between the MRCAM and the FRCAM exams. So both MRCAM and FRCAM exams, in both of these exams, you need to take a very thorough history. You cannot take any shortcomings when it comes to history taking of any complaint. Even in the psychiatry history, you need to take a very thorough history in both these types of exams. Secondly, in both these exams, you have to clear the resuscitation stations, which is the ALS, ATLS, and APLS stations. It's really unlikely you're going to succeed or pass either the MRCAM or the FRCAM without not passing the resuscitation stations. Before it was an unwritten rule, now the college has clearly stated that you have to pass the resuscitation stations. Thirdly, and most importantly, in both the MRCAM and FRCAM OSCE exams, you have to demonstrate that you got empathy, you are a good listener, you address all the concerns, and you listen to all the questions which the patient has. Without you addressing these issues, very unlikely you're going to pass these exams. Now let's talk about the differences between MRCAM and FRCAM. The first and foremost difference between, the difference between these two exams is that MRCAM exam is pitched at a registrar level. So once you pass the MRCAM exam, you are clear to work as a registrar. And as you all know, registrar is second in command after the consultant, which means that if, if on the night shift, when the consultant is not there in the hospital, the registrar becomes the in charge of the department. Therefore, the MR Chem exam is a very important exam to judge the ability of the candidate, whether they will be able to take care of the department on their own. When you compare it with the FR Chem exam, the FR Chem exam is a consultant level exam, which means once you pass the FR Chem exam, you are ready to work as a consultant. Therefore, there are subtle differences between these two exams. Now, the, the other big difference which we are seeing these days is that MR Chem exam, mostly the intern, international graduates are doing it as a route of entry into the UK NHS emergency medicine setup. So therefore, MR Chem exam, it would not be wrong to say it's being now shifted towards being a requirement for international graduates. Whereas the UK based emergency medicine trainees are doing the FR Chem exam. Now, as you guys will be well aware, the FR Chem exam again is divided into different parts the primary, the secondary, the OSCE. Okay, so these are the other, uh, the other big difference between MR Chem and FR Chem exam. The third and most important difference is that in MR Chem exam, if you're doing a history station, yes, you will need to take a history, yes, you will need to discuss a differential diagnosis, and yes, you will have to talk about the management plan at a registrar level. But if you're doing an FR Chem OSCE, for example, history station, you not only have to take a complete history, you will have to discuss the differential diagnosis, you will have to discuss the management plan, but you have to talk about these things at a consultant level. For example, if you're talking about the management plan, you should be able to decide whether this patient is going to be admitted or discharged from the hospital, okay? Because you are working as a consultant. The examiner will see you working as a consultant in the FR Chem exam, and so will the patient. So these were the big similarities and differences between MR Chem and FR Chem. Uh, if you have any further questions, please mention in the comment section below. And I, will, and I will try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you very much.